Hi there, my name is Dominic and here is a short video describing the use of the capsule tool. You'll find it in the basic tab, third icon on the to the right. When I right click on it I can choose cylinder or capsule. I'm going to control click and drag in the viewport to make a uniform capsule. I'm going to center its position on X0, Y0, Z0. Going to set the radius for all axes to 1. And actually going to make it somewhat higher on the Y axis. So these are the default setting for the sides. You can control the number of sides. Right now there are 24 sides. When I set it to 10, then I will only have 10 sides. The number of segments controls the number of segments in this direction. So when I set it to, to 1, then I only have one segment. Now, right now, the polygon type is set to subdivs. When I set it to face, it's clearer that you can see there's only one segment right now. The end segments number controls the number on top and on the bottom. So when I set it to 1, I only have one segment. The end size controls the, the, the distance of the end segments. So when I set it to, for instance to 1 meter, you get this result. When I increase the end segments to, for instance, 5 again, then it becomes much more rounded. And I, of course, can increase the number of segments here. I have 10 segments. Over here I can specify which axis. Now it's oriented to the x-axis, the y-axis and the z-axis. going to leave it at y. Make UVs or not. And over here you can specify where you want a custom placement. When I set for instance minus x to 0, then now this side has been placed to 0 on X. If I want this to be its original size, then I have to set max X to 2 meters. For instance, I can place the capsule on Y is a 0. I think it was uh, this one. Nope. So I'm going to set this at 3 and this 0 make this 4 and then I have my original capsule placed on the ground plane and with an offset on the x-axis. So this is a short introduction to the capsule tool. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye!